Hi there, this is Blair from Bravatrack. You may know that my expertise is in applying behavioural science principles to leadership to help clients multiply the performance of their customer-facing teams. In short, I'm a sucker for taking an evidence-based approach to growing performance. With that in mind, I've been recently thinking about the new science of building great teams, particularly because the current pandemic is having a significant impact on communication, culture and community for many organisations with so many people working from home. I'm now hearing of more and more contact centres which are intending to continue with a work from home model post pandemic for cost saving reasons. Yet at the same time, I've been speaking with senior contact centre leaders with serious concerns about at home agent productivity. Research done at MIT has figured out why some contact centre teams get excellent results while others struggle. The results will likely give you some ideas as to the best way forward. Suspecting that the key to high performance lay in how teams were communicating, the researchers equipped agents in a bank's contact centre with electronic badges that collected data on their individual communication behaviour, such things as tone of voice, body language, uh, who they talk to and much more. With remarkable consistency, the data confirmed that communication plays a critical role in building successful teams. In fact, they found patterns of communication to be the most important predictor of team success. Not only that, but they are as significant as all other factors combined. Drawing on that insight, the researchers advised the contact centre manager to revise the employee's break schedule so that everyone on a team took a break at the same time. That allowed people more time to socialise with their teammates away from their workstations. Uh, AHT immediately fell by 20% amongst uh, lower performing teams and by 8% overall across the entire contact centre. Across the bank's 10 contact centres, employee satisfaction also improved, sometimes by more than 10%. Interestingly, given the current drive to work from home, the researchers found that the most valuable form of communication to be face to face. The second most valuable is by phone or video conference, but with a caveat. Those technologies become less effective as more people participate in the call. The least effective forms of communication they found to be email, chat and text. Here are the big takeaways from that research. Number one, 35% of the variance in a team's performance can be accounted for simply by the number of face-to-face -face interactions between team members. And number two, social time turns out to be deeply critical to team performance often accounting for more than 50% of positive changes in communication patterns, even in a setting as efficiency focused as a contact centre. You might want to give some serious thought to these findings as you decide on the right balance between work from home and centre days each week for your frontline teams. That's my take. What do you think?